this is Macman265 with a tutorial on PHP and Apache on your Mac without having to install any extras. So if you have a Mac that's running, I think it comes with all the OS X, it has Apache and PHP built into it. You just have to enable it. And if you go to System Preferences, into Sharing, and tick Web Sharing, that's automatically just started up Apache. If you go into your IP address, or localhost, doesn't matter, then this is web hosting. There's nothing in my um, hosting directory, so it's just showing no files. But you can also enable PHP, which is a server-side scripting language that you can use on your computer, which is disabled by default, but is accessible by Apache. If you open a text editor, I use Text Wrangler, um, you need something that is an, that's able to view hidden files. If you open hidden, make sure show hidden items is ticked, and go to in your root drive, whatever you're booting off the Mac, go into private, etc, and Apache. And in here, HTTPD, open that, and in here, you should, normally this file is locked, I've unlocked this earlier, but normally if you click on it, it'll say it's locked here, it says it's, oh yeah, if I try to change anything, it'll be locked, so if I take this away, yeah, it tries to unlock it, but what you've got to do is it's, this is where it's loading all its modules, and if there's a hash in front of it, it will skip that line. So here's where it's trying to load PHP. There's a hash and it's not, so it's disabling it. So you just get rid of that hash, unlock it, and get rid of the hash. It'll now load PHP. Now if you save that, it'll ask for your password because it wants to know, it wants permission to access root files. So. Now if you now, have to copy the PHP file needs to end in a dot ini and it doesn't. So you need to copy its ion PHP ini dot default. If you op you've got to open terminal to change these files because they're system files again and you can't access them through Finder. So you've got to type cd for the current directory slash private. slash tc and now you're in there if I put in li nope nope ls it'll list all the files that are in that directory I'm going to try and find php ini dot default that's your php dot ini file but it ends in default and you don't want that I've already got php dot ini because I've done this before and I didn't set it back for this tutorial but you won't have that unless you've already done this so now you've got to copy your default file to just the plain php.ini and to do that you type sudo cp copy php.ini.default and then you put a space php.ini and I'm not going to hit enter because I've already done it and I'm not sure exactly what that would do once you hit enter it will ask you for your password to do something for the root then it will copy that file and you'll have your php.ini file after you've done this you can close terminal and open up system preferences and go back into sharing and where you've ticked web sharing untick it in a couple seconds wait till it's definitely off and tick it again and it'll start. It's turned on again. And now your PHP should, after it's reset, your PHP should be enabled. And to test it, you can go into um, all the files that it will host will be in library, down right at the bottom, web sharing, wherever it's gone.
this whole website. If I can go here, here it is, web server, sorry, you open up that, you go into documents, and anything in here will be hosted under your IP, and if you allow it in your router, it can be hosted under the internet. So if you create a new, computer doesn't like me today, a new text wrangler document, and close down this one, and you put this in it. This will, this is a PHP script that should show you if PHP is working or not. So you save it in your library, web server, documents, save it as index, PHP. Now if you go into your browser, So it, it comes up with PHP if it is installed. If it comes up with just the page source, well then that, sorry, if it comes up with the code you put in, so if it says in it all this, if this just comes up straight in the browser, then something's gone wrong and PHP is not working properly. So you want to try and get that working. But otherwise, just repeat my tutorial if it's not working properly and comment if you have any issues that you can't work out. Thanks.